Presenting the adventures of Jungle Jim. Last week we heard how Bob and Connie McGuire, who were in the Afghan hills seeking the jewels of the great Genghis Khan, captured a spy whom they found following them. They questioned the man until he told them he was employed by the Maharaja of Ibor, then released him after he had directed them to the old lamissary. Meanwhile, in the hills nearby, Jungle Jim and Shanghai Lil have found the old lamissary, which Bob and Connie are seeking, to be in the hands of the Maharaja and the Silent One, and have decided to remain in their present position on the hilltop so they can watch both the Lamissary's gate and all roads leading to it. However, unknown to them, the Maharaja and the Silent One know of their presence and are watching them. The thrilling adventures of Jungle Jim are pictured each Sunday in the Comic Weekly, the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure. The Comic Weekly, each page printed in full color, is distributed everywhere as an integral part of your Hearst Sunday newspaper. <laughs> And now we continue our story. As last week's episode closed, the Maharaja called for a high-powered rifle and from the tower of the Lamissary fired at Jungle Jim. The sound of the rifle's report is echoing across the valley. Ooh, down, Lil, down, get down, Lil. Jim, are you hit? I don't know, Lil. Something stung my shoulder. Oh. Come on, we've got to get back. Yes. Well, this is far enough. Let me have a look at your shoulder. Oh, it's all right, I guess. Well, Lil, look. What is it? Look at this buckle on my cartridge belt. Why, it's bent double. Well, that's where the bullet hit. You're right. If it didn't hit that buckle, it'd be going right through my shoulder. Oh. And whoever fired at this, Lil, is a marksman. Yeah, and I'm willing to bet it was the silent one. Jim, we've got to get out of here. The silent one and his men will be on our necks any minute. No, Lil. That's where you're wrong. Wrong? Yeah. There's some good reason why the silent one and his men don't want to leave the lamissary. What do you mean? Well, don't you see, Lil? It would have been easier and sure to surround us than taking a chance of firing from such a distance. Mm, maybe. Well, after all, Lil, they knew we were here on the hill. They could have taken us easily, but they didn't. So what? I still say we got to get out of here. Not until I find out why they attempted to kill us from a distance. I can't get it out of my head that there's a darn good reason behind it. <laughs> well, perhaps they're expecting someone. Lil, you've got it. That's it. What are you talking about? The silent one is expecting someone. Oh. That's why he didn't attempt to follow me when I left the gates. And it's also the reason why he didn't try to find us over here on the hill. He doesn't dare leave the lamissary, Lil. And yet, he wants to get us out of the way. I get it, Jim. The silent one knows that I would warn whoever attempted to go to the lamissary. And he doesn't want that to happen. Bob and Connie McGuire. Exactly, Lil. Why, it all adds up. He expects Bob and Connie. Yeah. The silent one knows that if we saw them, we'd warn them. And he also knows that he's got to capture Bob and Connie to get the map. And we're in his way, Lil. I think you've got it, Jim. Well, what's our next move? We're going to stay right here. When they fired at us, we both dropped to the ground. Yeah. To them, it probably looked as if we were hit. They think that we were either dead or wounded. Or that if we weren't hit, we fled. Right. Come on. We're going to make our way back to the top of the hill and keep a sharp watch. But this time, my friend, we'll keep down. You said it. Hey, wait. I got an idea. What are you going to do? We'll camouflage ourselves. Camouflage? Sure. Cola must have an axe in that camping kit. Well, there's his pack over there by the horses. Oh, I see it. Oh, Jim, we're wasting time. Someone might come up from the other direction while we're talking. We're not taking any chances this time, Lil. I'm going to cut down a couple of bushes and hold them in front of us and crawl back to the top of that hill. <laughs> this is a little stunt I learned in the war. <laughs> well, we'll look like a couple of Christmas trees. That's exactly what I hope we look like. <laughs> People don't shoot at trees. One narrow escape is enough for today. Right. Come on. We can walk a little ways. All right. Have you got the glasses with you? Yeah. All right, little. Let's get down. All right. Time to start crawling. <laughs> Here's your Christmas tree. Hold it in front of you. Okay. Let's go. Not, not so fast, Lil. Easy, does it? Ouch! Huh? When you think of some of the craziest ideas. Well, nevertheless, this may keep us from being seen, Lil. Mm -hmm. Watch now. We're almost at the top. Yeah, I can see where we are. 
And this is far enough. We can see perfectly, and yet we can't be seen. Jim, look. Huh? What is it? I told you we shouldn't have wasted so much time. Look, there's two people on horseback at the Lamasteries gate. You're right. Wait until I get these glasses adjusted. Oh, hurry, Jim. The gates are opening. Oh, well, they're going in. Oh, it's too late. Oh, I only saw their backs for a minute, Lil, but... Could you tell who they were? I'm not sure. But I think the two who just entered the Lamasteries were Bob and Connie McGuire. <laughs> While this scene has been taking place, another of even more sinister aspects has occurred on the plain below the hill. As Jungle Jim and Shanghai Lil were driven back by the Maharaja's bullets, Connie and Bob McGuire rode into view from the hills to the west. Bob, look. It's the old lamasery, Connie. I knew we'd find it. Oh, Bob, you don't know how good that place looks to me. Gives me a feeling that we're safe at last. I know, Connie. And that isn't all. What then? According to the map Dad gave me, the jewels of the great Genghis Khan are hidden within three miles of this place. Oh. We've reached our destination, Connie. Come on, let's go a little faster. Say, Bob, why can't we use this place as our headquarters? The old monks ought to be willing to let us stay here for a few days if we offer to pay them. That's exactly what I was planning, darling. Oh, good. You'll feel safer and we won't be bothered by any bandits. But look, there's the gate. And they've seen us, Bob. See, they're opening the gate. Shall we stop? No. No, see, the old monk is bending low. He means that we're to ride inside. Oh. Travelers have stopped here for hundreds of years, Connie. Come on, just follow me. Here comes someone, Bob. Yes. He's not a monk. Probably an attendant. Come, let me help you off. <laughs> Thanks, darling. Welcome to the hospitality of the Lamasery. Welcome. Thank you. If you will wait until I close the gates, I will direct you. I thought you were. Hello. Bob, I think I've seen that man before. Yes. Now, if you will follow me. We wish to stay here for a few days, perhaps longer, and would like to arrange for accommodation. That has been taken care of, Mrs. Maguire. What, you know our name? Very well. We have arranged already for you and your husband to remain with us for some time. <laughs> Bob. I knew that I'd seen that man before. He was in Calcutta. Say, what's the meaning of this? That man was at the hotel at the time of the fire, Bob. Jungle Jim called him the silent one. You are quite right, madame. Keep your hands away from your revolver, Maguire. I said, I forgot. I Let my was... husband go. This is the Buddhist Lama and they'll never permit you to... Not this way, you are mistaken, Mrs. Maguire. This place is no longer in the hands of the monks, as you will find out. Oh, Bob, did you hear? It's a trap. And one they're not going to get away with. Silent one, I demand that you release my wife and me immediately. You heard what my husband said? Release us. Not until you have met an old friend of your husband's father. Keep your hands above your heads and march straight ahead. Bob, do as he says. Now keep them up, Maguire. Oh, Bob, be careful. He'd kill you in a minute. All right, you win. Where are you taking us? To meet someone whom I'm sure you have heard of. The Maharaja of Vibor. <laughs> Back on the hill overlooking the Lamasery, Jungle Jim and Shanghai Lil are planning their next move. Jim, let me have the glasses for a while. Have you seen anything? No, not a thing, Lil. Well, it's a fine situation. You realize that we've got to find out whether that was Bob and Connie McGuire who went through the gate? I've got a plan. What do you mean? We're sticking right here until night. If Bob and Connie haven't shown up by then, I'm going to find out definitely whether or not they were the ones who entered. Jim, do you mean that you're going back to the Lama Street? Exactly, Lou. It's the only thing left to do. McGuire and his wife have been captured. We've got to know about it. And if you attempt to go back near those gates, you'll be caught with them. Jim, you've got to listen to reason. Well? The only thing we can do is to keep watch here. And if the McGuires don't show up, then we've got to get word back to Colonel Hammond at Fort Jamrud. Sorry, Lou. It's a good plan, but it won't work. How do you know it won't? You forget the attitude of the British authorities towards all monastery and Buddhist Lama Series. They've always maintained a hands-off policy. But, Jim, we know that the monks are no longer in control. Yes, we know it. But Colonel Hammond would never accept our word unless we had proof. But, Jim... Lil, it's the old, old policy the British have maintained ever since they first brought troops into India. Oh. This is all up to us. We've got ourselves into it, and we've got to get out by ourselves. And in the meantime, anything can happen to Bob and Connie if they're prisoners. We've got to prevent anything happening to them. That's why I'm going to try and get into the Lamasary grounds tonight. All right. You've made up your mind. I suppose there's nothing I can say that will change it. Well, I'm sorry you don't see it as I do, Lil, but I'm sure... Again, it was Colonel who called. I heard him, Lil. Stay here. 
I'm going back and find out what he wants. Come on, Jim. Keep down, Colo. And stay where you are. I'm coming. Well, get back as soon as you can, Jim. I'll keep watch. Right, Lil. Colo. Colo, where are you? This way, Juan. Oh, I see you, Colo. What's the matter? Is one thing wrong? One. Three men come on horses. Three, did you say? Yes, it's one. They come around the hill soon. Colo see them before they go behind the rock. Did you get a good look at them? Were they natives? Colo see but one man, good one. He wear native clothes. Good. Come on, Colo. Have you got your revolver? Yes, it's one. Now, Colo, I want you to listen to me carefully. Tonight, I've got to go back to the Lamasary. And I've got to have the clothes of an Afghan native to disguise myself. Me sabe, Juan. You want to take three who come prisoners? If we have to, Colo, but I'm not taking any chances. We'll get behind those rocks down near the trail and hold up whoever is coming. If they can prove they're friends, I'll buy a disguise. If not, we've got to capture them. Colo note one, Jim. See, here is big rock. We hide here. Oh, boy, this is perfect. Keep down, Colo. They're coming. They hear Twan. Right, Colo. We'll jump right in front of their horses. Ready? Be ready, Twan. Jump. Throw up your hands, all of you! <laughs> Who are the three men who Jungle Jim and Colo have just held up? What is the fate of Bob and Connie McGuire? Will Jungle Jim attempt to carry out his plan to enter the old lamissary tonight? The adventures you have just heard dramatized will appear in full-color action pictures in the Comic Weekly. The big Comic Weekly distributed with your Hearst Sunday newspaper everywhere. In the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure, you will find all the famous characters who live in the world of color pictures. There's the Katzenyama kids. Jigs and Maggie, Barney Google, Toots and Casper, The Little King, Flash Gordon. See all these famous characters in your copy of next Sunday's Comic Weekly. And don't forget our date next week, same time, same station, for a continuation of the adventures of Jungle Jim. Jungle Jim.